This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Designing a great day in Hazleton, the Dominican House is ready to welcome some big designers from New York at a fashion show this week. Hello friends, thank you for watching. I'm Ken Cara and here's your Monday headlines from SSPTV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. State police need your help to find a missing Hazel Township man. 30-year-old Travis Fanning was with his father around noon on Thursday and was last seen when he was dropped off at Groceries Plus on Vine Street in Hazleton. He was observed on surveillance video at the Fine Wine and Good Spirits store on North Church Street around 1.39 p.m. Fanning was wearing a dark maroon hooded sweatshirt, blue jeans, and carrying a black backpack. Anyone with information on Fanning's whereabouts is asked to call State Police in Hazleton at 570-459-3890. It was an early gift for the city of Hazleton. Today, the Hazleton Housing Authority presented a check for more than $50,000 to Hazleton Mayor Jeff Cassatt. Authority Chairman Charles Gennaro called it a pilot check. Pilot stands for payment in lieu of taxes. We get a lot of amenities from the city. We have protection from the city. And we have uh, a good working relations with the city. So we're only too happy to give them what we can in lieu of taxes. Any income that the city gets helps us in some way. You know, we are strapped, at this, especially at this time of the year, and this helps us get through you know, and provide the services that are needed through the citizens. The check comes at a time when the city is in the midst of finalizing a budget for 2019. This will be a happy Thanksgiving for more than 1,000 families thanks to an annual food distribution event over the weekend. Arjanine LaSant went Facebook Live on Saturday from Our Lady of Grace Church in Hazleton as all these bags of food were handed out to those in need. The free distribution was made possible by the Commission on Economic Opportunity, Catholic Social Services, United Charities, and Faith Assembly of God Church. Organizers say that the need increases each year. Food distributions are held each month with larger distributions for both the Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays. Another annual tradition took place on Saturday at the Laurel Mall. Santa Claus arrived at the Laurel Mall via the Hazel Township Volunteer Fire Company Fire Truck. He was then escorted into the mall with the help of mall security and members of the Fabergé Follies Dance and Tumble Studio. The Grinch tried to upstage Santa and actually had the nerve to sit in Santa's chair, but he was soon escorted out of the mall by property manager Rocco Aruzzo and security. Santa then took up residence for the good little boys and girls who were waiting patiently to tell them their Christmas list. Santa will remain at the Laurel Mall and photos will be available for purchase now through Christmas Eve. Have you ever wanted to see a fashion show in New York City? This Sunday, two famous designers are bringing their fashions here to Hazleton, and you're invited. This special event is called Fashion Show Beauty with a Purpose, a fashion show to benefit the Dominican House of Hazleton. Well, this fashion show, we are really excited to invite everyone to come and enjoy us because we are bringing two of the most famous um, fashion designers of the city of New York. Uh, they are Victor Lopez and Eduardo Rosario. They are um, really um, excited to come here for the first time on Hazleton. And they want to meet everyone, um, especially they are going to be on this Sunday, uh, November 25. Um, starting at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. This is a, a great opportunity for everybody in the community to get out and participate with the community together. A fashion show is a different activity. It's uh, something that we bring from New York, uh, you know, like a different dresses to show the, the sun, uh, specialist people that know about dress and something like that. We bring an opportunity for everybody to show that. So that's why Robert Collado, and Jaylene Caraballo, she is the queen of the Dominican Parade, the festival and parade, and they are together working in the Dominican house in this process. We want everyone to come because this is a big fundraiser for the organization, the non-profit organization, the Dominican House of Hazleton. The Dominican House is celebrating 13 years of service in the community. Tickets for the show are just $10, and you will have the chance to purchase these beautiful fashions from New York City at the event. Again, the fashion show is this Sunday at 5 p.m. at 531 Alter Street in Hazleton. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. 
Are you dreaming of a white Thanksgiving? Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service. Rain is likely tonight. Snow may then mix in a little bit later. 70% chance of precipitation. Level low of 34 degrees. Less than a half inch possible of snow accumulation. Then for our Tuesday, 30% chance of precipitation. Rain and snow showers will have a high of 38 degrees. Tuesday night partly cloudy with a low of 23. Partly sunny for Wednesday. 33 degrees for the high. Wednesday night partly cloudy. Low of 13. And then on Thanksgiving, sunny with a high of only 20 though and then into the single digits at night on Thanksgiving but mostly clear Friday sunny with a high of 29 and then Friday night partly cloudy low of 23 degrees. Last week was a good one for Kelsey Resnick from Drums, the Wyoming Seminary senior who we featured a few times for her time with the U.S. National Field Hockey Team, committed to Duke University. That's huge news. And then she scored the opening goal in the state AA championship game against Newport. It ended up being the game-winning goal as Seminary won 2-0. So the two-year captain at Wyoming Seminary goes out a champion on her way to play Division I field hockey. North Schuylkill, they lost in the state AAA football playoffs in the first round. They put up a tough fight against Conwell Egan, and they even led 7-0. Mitch Wagner had a big fumble recovery, and Tyler Elsden blocked a punt for North Schuylkill, who ends their season as Schuylkill League and District 11 champs. Dave Seaman has a full recap of this game in the Standard Speaker, and we'll talk about it on Community NEPA News this week. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins lost two games to Charlotte at home over the weekend, and that's the SSP TV Standard Speaker scoreboard. Coming up, I talk with Marion's Nicole Caparell about winning a state cross-country medal and her plans for life after high school. And John Eric Poli gets us in the giving spirit in this holiday season with a heartwarming story from Tamaqua. Watch SSP-TV in Pottsville every day from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Comcast Channel 190. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The historic Brainerd Church will be having their Thanksgiving Eve service on Wednesday at 7 p.m. All are invited to attend. And also this Wednesday, St. John Bosco Church in Cunningham will be having their annual Community Thanksgiving Eve prayer service at 7 p.m. Refreshments will follow the service. All are invited. And this Saturday, there will be a Santa's Workshop Craft and Vendor Show at the Butler Township Community Center from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Come on out and support your local craft and vendors. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News, we'd like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Robert R. D. Vigili Sr. of Medford, New Jersey. Mass will be Wednesday at 10 a.m. at Annunciation Parish at St. Gabriel's Church. The Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Eugene M. Kistelins of West Hazleton. Mass will be Tuesday at 10 a.m. at St. John's Byzantine Catholic Church. Friends may call today from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Frank J. Bonin Funeral Home. Keith Matalevich of Hazleton. Mass will be Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. at Most Precious Blood Church. Friends may call Tuesday from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Firo Funeral Home. And Laura J. Sosnowski, formerly of Freeland. Mass will be Wednesday at 9.30 a.m. at St. Anne's Church. Friends may call Wednesday from 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. at the church. The McHugh Wilczek Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements.